We all know Diljeet Dasanj, he's a Punjabi pop star, an amazing singer that has shown his vocal range over two decades, along with some pretty decent acting work. When both him and Gippy got into acting for the first time, you could see that it came to Diljeet a lot more naturally. He was immediately likable and we knew he was gonna make some moves in this industry. Don't get me wrong, Gippy held his own with a number of dope songs and movies, Jut James Bond being one of them. Let me know if you're interested and we can cover his work in another video. Back to Diljeet though. His sense of style and modern take on traditional outfits have made him somewhat of a fashion icon. His songs are played worldwide and his music videos generate billions of views, which you may know from my previous video means PESA. I've said this before but Punjabi culture is growing and you can see it all around you. These videos give its ever growing audience a glimpse into our life, our traditions and relationships. They are fictional characters living the Punjabi way of life, visualizing our culture and experiences. Today I want to take a look at a few of Diljeet's music videos and how they have been portraying us to the world. Hello hi Sasriga, my name is Oshindaroi and welcome to Akioi. An ongoing segment on this channel where I discuss how Punjabi music videos are visually representing our people and why we should care. It's fair to say that Diljeet's music videos might have a bigger budget than some of the other artists. We can see this in the set designs and the size of the overall production, plus outfits, makeup and cast all add to the budget. And his videos always look amazing, usually very colorful with fun outfits and dance numbers, but for some reason in almost all his videos, they make some very questionable choices when it comes to portraying some of their characters, especially the female kind. And by questionable, I mean getting them wrong, like really wrong. Not just wrong, but like damaging to the perception of who we are, how we live and treat each other, especially our women. And before we go on, let me be clear. I am not talking about Diljeet's personal life or his relationships in real life. My focus will only be on how the music videos portray relationships between genders. I'm also not saying that he's alone at fault or even casting blame in any way. So I mean, I'm not saying that he's Diljeet is a very influential public figure, with many looking to him as a role model. Kids and teens alike copy his style and mannerisms. His portrayal of relationships carry weight and it requires some consideration. And some of the things we see in his videos are just unacceptable behavior and of the narcissistic nature, however exaggerated they may be. The content of his videos often have little to do with the story of the song. And I'm only talking about songs that are lyrically beautiful, like they tell a story with lovely little characters. So let's take a quick look at some of these. First we have Lamborghini from December 2016, which is a song about a woman fed up with her man's secret calls with unknown friends. The lyrics of the song are actually pretty sad since it's all about a woman saying her man is untrustworthy, he only pretends to love her and that she regrets getting married to him at all. In the video, we start with a young woman complaining about her man and the older experienced women tell her that it basically gets worse. They all join in and agree that men suck and they all give their little examples. One of the ladies says, Meaning that for two months, she has not spoken to her husband at all regardless of how many times they have sex. Because yes, that's what japhiya means. That's how women talk, you know? We see throughout the video that the husband gets calls from unisex names, suggesting to the wife that he's possibly cheating on her. I mean, he is being super suspect and for some reason acts pretty aggressively every time he gets a call. He continues to mistreat and disregard the woman in openly aggressive ways, for no reason at all. She keeps dancing right through it though. This goes on till the end where her husband introduces his friends to her and to her surprise, they are all men. Gay? <laughs> Just kidding. It doesn't make sense because I mean if they're married, like wouldn't she already know? Let's not get into that. Then one of his friends turned out to be Diljeet, even though the wife was seeing him in her head and then he's wearing the same outfit that she was picturing him in and we don't have time to get into it so I'm just gonna move on. Then we got El Sueño featuring True School in October 2017. 
and it's one of his best videos. I mean, this thing looks like an episode of Boardwalk Empire. It's like a modern day Godfather tale. This is a great example of a beautiful song visualized in a very creative way, adding great value to the overall project. The Radhi Gedi was right after that in December 2017. This song was great. The video was good too actually, except for the part in the beginning where the woman is made to be diabolical. The video starts like the others with some story building before the song. A woman calls her man crying and tells him that he doesn't love her, you know, being super dramatic. That if he doesn't come see her right now in the middle of the night, he's basically a little scaredy cat. And I think this video was the first time I saw Daljeet with his bug off because he doesn't actually have that hair, right? Like, I didn't know how to feel about that. It kind of like threw me off. Side note, side note. <clears throat> My only issue with this video is why? Why make this woman be like this? There are many ways for a woman to ask her man to come over in the middle of the night. Not all of them are this shitty. And as a man, I can tell you it doesn't take much. This could be overlooked as nakara and meant to be as cute, but it just makes the woman look like a mean crybaby. Then we got Pagal and Pot Jatada in October 2018. But the Jadada is just trash in terms of doing justice to the song. It's just not even worth talking about it really. I mean, it's a good jam to dance to, but lyrically, it's subpar. Pagal on the other hand is a nice little song actually. It's a complex song about a woman that can't get over her no good cheating man. A man that left her for another woman, but she knows that if he came back to her, she would still go right back to him because she's so weak in love. The song is like a realization or her admitting to herself of that fact. The video decided to throw all that nonsense right out the window by spending a full minute of story building where they immediately tell us that the man didn't leave, he actually died. So right away he becomes the victim and we sympathize with him before the song even starts. He also left a letter for her in which we find out that he didn't actually cheat on her. Okay, so all that is cleared up right away. What is the music video going to be about? It's going to be about an old lady holding on to a letter and dying alone with that letter. It makes no sense. She got closure about what happened to her man when she was still young. So what made her live a lonely life this whole time? Like, it makes no sense. They take the line about meant to be him coming back to her from the other woman to him being dead and coming back to her to take her to the afterlife. I wanted to do a full breakdown of this video because there is a lot going on. Uh, let me know if that sounds like fun to you. Then we got Moch in August 2019. The song is super fun, all about a man having swag and style in large quantity. There's no way they can get this wrong. Well, they found a way. The song is about a man taking a little longer than usual to get ready. So he says to his woman, hold up there sweet baby darling. That's what Rakane means, right? He says, hold up, let me style up my mustache one time before we go. Like, let me get ready. But like most of his other videos, we didn't get past the story building before we saw what they did to their female lead. She scares the crap out of this butler. I mean, look at this poor guy. He can't get a word in. The woman barges into the house, pissed off, walks into the Jeet's bedroom to find him still in bed, happy as a child waking up on a Sunday morning. She is furious and storms right out. Again, they added anger, attitude, and unlikability to this female character immediately. We don't even get a sense of their relationship. Like, who are they to each other? Are they dating or does she work for him? So we don't actually know if Diljeet is playing a terrible boyfriend or a terrible boss. I feel so bad for this girl. She was made into a terrible character. There's no mention of a nagging, pissed off girlfriend, wife, secretary in the song at all. This is something the creators of the video decided to do all on their own. What is the thought process behind these Punjabi music videos? Then in December 2019, we got Surma, a beautiful song about a fed up woman with her man that treats her poorly and makes her cry, leading to her running mascara, aka Surma. Does that sound familiar? The whole song is a list of things this man does that continues to ruin this woman's life. She straight up regrets marrying him because he doesn't appreciate her and all that other usual stuff. 
But what do we see in the video? We of course see the woman being the mean one, abusing the husband, chasing him down the streets of the village to whoop his ass. This is what they came up with for a song about a woman crying all the time. They turn it around to make the man look like the victim throughout the video. Even though the song we hear describes the woman listing her issues, it makes no sense. So what is this? Why do we keep seeing this trend in Diljeet's videos? How much control does he have over these things? Is he even aware of it? Either way, it's terrible. These are things you can easily solve. Like instead of having the woman coming to the door yelling, screaming at the help, have her do something else, anything else. I don't want to sound like I'm here to say, hey, look at that thing, it sucks. No, I'm here to talk about some of these things that are clearly in need of an upgrade or at least a discussion for an upgrade. I'm sure it's not easy to create these music videos. I'm sure a lot goes into it. You can see the amount of people involved. But I ask that you put a little more thought and consideration into the characters and their stories. If you're going to take on the task of visualizing a well-written song, try to do it justice. The writers of the songs deserve it, and I, on the behalf of the public, demand it. That's it for now. Thank you, Tada, for watching to the end. If you haven't already, please smash that like button, share this video with someone you think would find it interesting, or can add to the conversation. Okay, chalo fe. So this goes on till the end. So this goes on till the end. So this goes on. So this goes on till the end. So this goes on till the end. This goes on till the end where.